Hello everyone! Welcome to this fun video. I have the sweetest, cutest little box to share with you. This is a really fun little Easter treat box that you could share with your uh, family, friends, teachers, coworkers, whoever you're giving a little Easter treat to this year. Um, you can see how small it is. It fits literally in the palm of my hand. It is so adorable. And inside, let's see, can we get it open? There we go. Inside are two of these adorable little um, Reese's bunnies. So I found these at Target. They come in a in a big bag and you can make a bunch of these. You get a bunch of these little bunnies in this bag so you can make a bunch of these boxes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the, the little box. Isn't that adorable though? So let's get started. I'm using Daffodil Delight. Now if you're shopping for supplies, I do have a host code for this month. Please check the video description for my um, host code for uh, March of 2024. If that's when you're watching this, I would love it if you supported me and shopped my online store. My small business definitely thanks you for that. All right, we are going to start with Daffodil Delight. This piece of cardstock is four by five and three eighths. So you can get four of these boxes out of one sheet of cardstock. So I love a box that, that you can get multiples of out of, a, out of one sheet of cardstock that really stretches your cardstock. All right, on the four inch side, we're going to score at half an inch, one and one eighth on each side. So I'm gonna um, turn that around and do that again, half an inch and one and one eighth. Now all of the measurements are in the video description and there's a link um, to my blog in the video description as well that will take you to my blog post where you can check out the details of this box as well. All right, on the five and three eighths inch side, you're going to score it at five eighths, at um, two and three eighths. Sorry. Oh, that jumped the track a little bit. Um, I'm reading my instructions and they're kind of behind a, my camera here, so I'm trying to duck and look at them. Okay, so five eighths, two and three eighths, three, and four and three fourths. All right, and right here where it kind of um, dump, jumped the track, I'm just gonna turn it over and just gently push that back in with my um, tool. And so you're never gonna see that, but those are our score lines. And again, you can check the, the video description for um, all of those measurements. All right, so let's grab our bone folder and we're gonna burnish on all of those score lines. Um, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, that really helps my, um, my business grow as well. It's free for you and you never miss a video. So make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're watching this video and share this with your friends who would love to see this as well. All right, so we just did um, some quick burnishing on all of the score lines that we had on there. Now we're gonna do some trimming, so grab your paper snips. And the box is symmetrical, so it's the same when you hold it this way, it's the same on either side as well as when you hold it this way, it's the same on either side. So at this point, it doesn't matter where you start, but you're just gonna choose a side and you're going to, um, you're gonna start there. So we're going to make the lid of the box first. And so we are going to go straight up the score line here on the rectangle part. We're gonna do that on both sides. And then we're going to cut out these two squares. So just cut those out completely. And we're gonna do the same on this side. Boxes are generally, you wanna go by the rule of what you do to one side, you do to the other side. And that's really gonna help you come up with a, a really good box. So we've taken off those two corners there. Um, now we're going to cut up on this side of the rectangle. We're gonna go all the way in, past those two score lines. And we're gonna do the same on this side. And then we're going to cut off this piece, just this long rectangle piece. So. Just follow that score line. You can also use a paper trimmer if you don't feel comfortable using your, your paper snips here. We're just gonna cut off that. Okay, so this is what the lid of your box is now. So now we're gonna work on the bottom of our box. Let me put these aside. So we're going to cut straight up on um, the score line here on this rectangle piece again. We're gonna do that on both sides. Okay, I'm actually gonna fold this out of the way this piece out of the way so it's just these little tabs poking out and we're gonna cut off these outside squares just like that and then we're gonna come in and just notch in on these squares these are gonna go on the inside of the box they're gonna be our little tabs that kind of create the box and nobody's ever gonna see them so um, but I like to cut the corners off it helps reduce the bulk okay and then we're just gonna trim the corners on this piece 
this little outside piece. This is going to fold in and just give us a nice finished box. And we're just going to trim the corners on that. All right, so what I did to this side, I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So we're going to trim up to that second score line. Trim up to that second score line. I'm going to fold this piece out of the way. And then we'll just trim these off. And then we'll trim these little tabs. These are going to be um, some really, they're smaller tabs, but um, the box is going to hold together really well because of um, this, this piece on the outside. And I'm going to show you why. Um, and then just angle cut those as well. So that is all the trimming with our scissors. So we have all those little scraps out of the way. So this is what your box should look like at this point. We're going to do a little tiny bit more trimming with some punches. So I have um, a half inch circle punch here. We don't have a half inch circle punch, but you can use any um, smaller shape punch you have. And all I'm going to do is the side with the little um, like wings down here. This is the bottom of our box. Um, I'm going to punch a hole in this bottom tab down here and I'm not punching a whole hole. I mean, you can see that it's not even a quarter of an inch. We're just doing a tiny little finger notch. So that is all we're doing. So it's just going to give you just the, the littlest edge there to grab that lid of the box and pull it up. All right, now for the corner rounder punch, we went around all of these corners that are going to go into the, the um, on the lid of our box. So I'm going to fold this part over so I have a nice straight edge here. I'm going to stick that in and I'm just going to um, corner round those. And I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to fold that side in. And so I have um, some nice straight edges so I can get my corners in there. And then this side is a little bit tricky because you have to kind of fold all of these in and then fold it this way. Get that in. I have a piece stuck in there. <laughs> there we go, like that. And then we're gonna make sure that these are all folded in this way as well. So we have that straight edge here and punch that. All right, so now this is all of the, of the trimming for, for your box. So I'm gonna move all my trash out of the way so we can get back to our box. And we're going to, going to add some adhesive. You can use any strong adhesive, tear and tape, um, liquid glue would work perfectly for these. Um, I'm using Stampin' Seal, that's what I have on my desk, so that's what I'm going to use. And um, so we're going to go ahead, I'm going to flip this over. This is the box is going to fold in this way, the way our score lines are going. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on all four of these tabs here. And I find it easier to do this um, from the back side. Okay, so we're going to just kind of make sure those are are lifted up while we put the rest of our adhesive, adhesive on because we don't want it to glue down to our mat here. And I'm just going to put a line of adhesive along this outside tab here. So this little piece here, this piece is where I'm putting the adhesive. And we're going to do that on both sides. And that is all the adhesive we're going to need for this box. So we're going to start with our, our tabs. We're going to fold them in. We're going to line up this score line with this cut edge. And we're going to go all the way around and just adhere the box that way. Okay. Tuck these in and do that score line right up to that cut edge. Right up to that cut edge right there. All right, now with these little tabs here, we're going to fold those over just like that. And that's going to sandwich those tabs in there. And it's also just going to give our box a more secure finish. And I'm just going to give everything a really good burnish with my bone folder just to make sure everything is nice and secure. Okay. So that is our little box. We have our lid here. We have our little finger notch there. So let's go ahead and grab our um, two of our little Reese's bunnies. They fit perfectly in there, nice and snug. They'll fit perfectly. And then um, for the box, it just kind of folds in like a pizza box. The um, the sides all fold in just like that and it's a nice um, it's a nice solid hold the box lid isn't gonna fly open um, and then you get this nice rounded edge from us folding in those sides so really fun little box right all right let's finish decorating this I have a piece of DSP this is Daffodil Delight this is a um, brights from the um, from the bright 6x6 DSP pack in the annual catalog and this piece is um, one and a half by one and a half, just one and a half inch square. And we're gonna stick this straight down to our to our box, just to decorate the top just a little bit. And then from the stylish shape size, I have die cut a Highland Heather circle here. Um, we're not gonna adhere this yet, we're gonna do some stamping first, but that's gonna go right on top. All right, so let's get to our stamping. 
I am using today, I'm using the Easter Bunny stamp set. This is in our annual catalog. There's a punch that coordinates with this little bunny here. He's so adorable. Um, I love this one for Easter. I pull this out for Easter every year. I just love it. Um, we're using gorgeous grape ink for our greeting and then we're using memento for the little eggs. And that's all we're gonna stamp. Um, there are no dies for this one and then the only punch was for that one bunny that we're, we're not stamping today. So you will have to do some fussy cutting. So fussy cutting is not your favorite. Um, look around with other greetings. Maybe you have a smaller greeting that will fit in a label or maybe you have like a label die that will fit this greeting. You can use that as well. Um, I'm gonna pull out my memento. And we're gonna stamp our eggs. Go ahead with a little smudge of purple there, that's okay. We'll be coloring that in so nobody's ever gonna see it anyway. All right, put those away before I get even more <laughs> um, ink on there. All right, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so you can see the, the coloring of the eggs here. Um, I'm gonna use Daffodil Delight for my um, my little striped egg over here. Um, the coloring is gonna be really simple. We are not doing any blending really except for the pool party egg and we'll get to that in a second. So I'm just gonna give this a whole wash of light daffodil delight. And then with my dark daffodil delight, I'm just gonna come in and um, just color in two of the stripes so that the pattern is just light, dark, light, dark. And your coloring doesn't have to be perfection here. I mean, if you've ever, seen an Easter egg, which I'm sure you have. Their coloring is sometimes spotty. It's not always perfect. So don't stress too much about making everything perfect here. Um, okay. So Highland Heather Stampin' Blend. I'm starting with the light. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go um, a light wash over everything. And then we're going to come in with the dark and just color in all the little, the little polka dots on this egg. And again, don't stress too much about making everything perfect. This is just quick coloring, no shading needed. All right, I'm gonna stick that back. I like to stick my Stampin' Bones back as I'm using them. All right, for the uh, middle egg, we're gonna use Pool Party. And so I'm gonna do a quick wash of the light over the entire thing. And then I'm gonna come in with the dark and I'm just gonna shade kind of half of it. Just go over one side just like that kind of making like a c a c shape and then i'm just going to come in with the light again and just touch that up so really simple simple blending you don't need to do a whole lot but that is our our little easter eggs okay let's zoom back out a little bit so we can see our our whole box here now you're going to want to fussy cut all of these so grab your scissors and just fussy cut them now if you have trouble fussy cutting around the words take a pencil and just trace a line around the words and then you can follow that line instead of um having to do it freehand now for the sake of the video and for time's sake i have already fussy cut all of my pieces um and again this is the the greeting is a little bit tricky to cut out, but again, take a pencil, draw a line along the outside. Now, if you really do not want to do this, again, look through your greetings. You can even just use like a for you greeting or a, a greeting that says like hi or hello. You don't have to do the happy Easter. Um, I think it looks really cute. But again, if you have like a little label or something, you can just die cut that as well. So don't feel like you have to do the fussy cutting. If fussy cutting is not what you love to do, then by all means, you know, don't do something you don't love. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a dimensional. We're going to stick it on the back of this and we're going to stick this onto our, our little purple piece here, our purple circle. And we're going to do the same with our, with our yellow egg. I'm going to kind of trim a piece here for that one though, because it's a little bit smaller and I don't want the dimensional to hang off the edge. All right, so this is going to go just like that, so we have our, our little Easter eggs. Now for the, we're gonna pop up the Easter greeting, so I just have um, some dimensionals here. I'm just gonna cut a little rectangle piece, just a skinny little strip here, and I'm just gonna peel off the backing off of that, and then just stick this down just on the bottom, just like that. So just trim up your dimensionals. We'll just pull that off and stick that down. And then for the happy part, we're just going to adhere this. I'm gonna use liquid glue. You can also use glue dots or whatever you want. So just a little bit of liquid glue just on the, the back of this. And then that'll stick right down over our, our little Easter eggs. Happy Easter. So perfect, just like that. And then we'll just take a couple of dimensionals. 
We'll stick them on the back of our Highland Heather piece, peel off those backings, and stick this down onto our, our box. Isn't that adorable? So cute. All right, quickly to finish it off, I have some of these glossy dots. These are so pretty. I love these for cards because they're nice and flat. Um, but for 3D projects, they just add so much sparkle and shine. So I'm just going to use a few of these. These are in our annual catalog if you're looking for these glossy dots. Um, whoops. Let's pick that up. They are so pretty. Um, they come in gorgeous grape, melon mambo, daffodil delight, and I think pool party. But I think it also works for um, Coastal Cabana. So your take your pick tool would work wonders here too. I'm using my scissors, which is not the best. I should use my take your pick tool. But the glossy dots are amazing. So check these out in the annual catalog. I absolutely love them. They're probably one of my favorite accessories. All right, and that completes our box. This is a really simple Easter box that you can um, hand out this season to all of your, your friends, your family. These make little great Easter basket stuffers. Um, again, great for teacher gifts. Anybody would really, really appreciate these. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember to share the video um, and give me a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do that. All the um, supplies and measurements are in the video description and you, you can check out photos and details on my blog, which is also linked in the video description. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.